Submission Underground, August 30th, 6 p.m. Eastern, only on UFC Fight Pass. We've got the Boogeyman, Richie Martinez, coming back. It'd feel a little weird if the Boogeyman wasn't here, right? I mean, he is definitely a staple at this point within Submission Underground, but he's taking on Ben Egley. And this is an interesting match for two reasons. First off, it's a change. Martinez was supposed to take on former Bellator champion, Brent Primus. Brent Primus was training for this match. He was on a sled and he was pushing the sled and something happened. I think it was to his leg or his back and all of a sudden he's got to pull out. That was not something Primus wanted to do. Like in the world of grappling, this was a very important match. Martinez versus Brent Primus needed to happen for rankings, for respect within the community. Two black belts, high level. It needed to happen. Primus tried to rest it. He tried to ice it, did everything he could. He calls in and says, I can't do it. Ben Egley, I'm in. Wanted to be in the whole time. Want a piece of, of Richie. Now, the problem with Richie Martinez is twofold. First off, he's never going to quit attacking you. And he has a level of flexibility that he can do so from any position. I have seen Martinez, and you even saw this in his last match with Kevin, Keith, Kevin Casey. Martinez was in a full mount, meaning Kevin Casey is mounting him. Martinez was on the bottom in arguably the worst position you could be in. Martinez was going for leg locks, try, trying to get Casey out of there. There's no position that he's not going to attack you from. And the more that he does this, and with the consistency and activity that we're seeing from Richie Martinez, the better and better the condition he gets. Which means the more he's going to attack you longer and later into the contest. So now when you bring in Ben Egley, King of the Cage champion, like 23 and 2 in MMA, some ridiculous record. Won so many matches. He came in to remind you guys, but he's the one that had the big upset over Jake Ellenberger. Submitted Ellenberger, ends up tapping Breakfield in the overtime. Egley's coming back, and Egley is like, look, I, I don't need a whole bunch of time to prepare for Richie because I've been studying this guy for, a I know exactly who Richie is, but I'm not sure he knows who I am. So Egley's going to take the match, and that's been the story of Egley's career. Total stud, can go with anybody, can beat anybody, but not a lot of people know who he is. For whatever reason, he's one of these guys that's kind of gone under the radar. That's changed rapidly in the last number of months. That's changed very rapidly with his uh, immersion to submission underground, but he's got a tough match in front of him. Before you look at Ben Egley and think he's Mr. Accomplished and he's Mr. Undefeated, yes, he is all of those things, but this is a tough and rare match. It really is. Martinez is one of these guys that's hard to prepare for because you're not going to find a lot of guys in the training room that can do what he does. They just don't have the level of flexibility and they don't have the offensive output. It's a very unique match. And Egley's been in there all the way up to with Craig Jones. He knows what it's like to feel different feels. This one's going to be unique, but this one's meaningful. It's very hard. It seems like any ranking or position that you want to get within Submission Underground, it all goes through Boogie. That's going to be Egley's task. August 30th.